April 5th, 2011, 29 degrees, 51 minutes north, 35 degrees, 0 minutes east. The Changing Oceans expedition reached Aqaba, the only Jordanian harbor offering the country strategic access to the Red Sea. The 27-kilometer-long Jordanian coast suffers from major human activity impacting the coral reefs. Corals are removed to enlarge port facilities and are also damaged by the increasing numbers of divers destroying the reefs with their fins. As a consequence, corals and fauna inhabiting these reefs are increasingly threatened. To solve this issue, Jordan supports the creation of artificial coral reefs. The objectives of this approach are manifold, as explained by Professor Al Horani, designer of the underwater panorama, the largest artificial reef in the Gulf of Aqaba. So there are several purposes for constructing and developing artificial reefs in coral reef areas. First and above all is to protect natural reefs, because recreational divers usually go to natural reefs to do their recreational dives. But because they are not really experienced divers, they might destroy, physically destroy the corals while being in, in a dive. Another purpose of uh, having artificial reefs in the sea is to restore damaged reef areas. So to construct a new reef and replace the damaged ones, you construct specialized uh, uh, artificial reefs with certain purposes. Some are designed for uh, uh, having corals on top of them, Others are for attracting fishes and so on. There are several types of artificial reefs. Wrecks, such as boats or tanks, can be used to support the growth of corals. Additionally, specific support structures can be developed by combining concrete blocks. Depending on the configuration of these blocks, it is possible to influence the type of ecosystem that will develop on the reef. This second method was used for the underwater panorama. Coral grows by only one centimeter per year. Therefore, it takes about five years for an artificial reef to be completely covered with corals. Materials for the construction of a reef should be chosen properly. A modified concrete that will not affect the pH of the water is a common choice. For the moment, this new approach to coral conservation in the Red Sea seems to have a very positive impact. After about two years of deployment, we have recorded more than 100 fish species, including many rare species and others are even endangered and red-listed fishes. So it's a, attracting a good community of fishes. With respect to other reef uh, organisms, we have also plenty of uh, uh, recruited or settled corals. So we have new rec recruits on the concrete unit. Coral reefs are one of the most diverse life forms on Earth and can be compared to tropical forests in terms of biodiversity. Threatened on all sides, coral reefs are the most sensitive regions of the oceans to human activity. The construction of artificial reefs is a potential solution to see an improvement in biodiversity. The creation of new habitats is a way to protect corals and promote the development of surrounding marine life. As for the divers, their role is to learn to master their actions if they want to preserve the coral reefs that they love.